Patients with spinal cord injury are at a greater risk for developing pressure ulcers because they have abnormal sensation. Unfortunately, many patients with spinal cord injury develop pressure ulcers despite preventative measures. In most cases, conservative measures can heal pressure ulcers, but there are times when a large pressure ulcer requires surgical correction. In collaboration with plastic surgery, the physiatry team at UPMC recommends a flap reconstruction followed by a progressive sitting protocol to improve outcomes for patients. After a flap reconstruction, we recommend that a patient remain supine in an air fluidized bed for approximately three to four weeks, allowing the site to heal. After they've been supine for about a month, we admit patients to inpatient rehabilitation for the progressive sitting protocol. In the beginning, we utilize Hoyer transfer for all transfers and a power wheelchair reclined to 70 degrees to prevent shearing to the wound. We start with a sitting protocol, 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the afternoon, examining the flap site both before and after sitting to verify that there's been no breakdown. Each subsequent day, we increase the sitting time by 15 minute intervals up until the patient hits the two hour mark. Once the patient's been sitting for two hours twice daily, then we transition to a low air loss mattress or a hospital bed that's similar to their home bed. We also transition the patient to their regular wheelchair, either a power wheelchair or a manual wheelchair at their regular angle, and then increase the intervals of sitting for, by 30 minute intervals up until four hours twice daily. So part of the progressive sitting protocol is a gradual tolerance to upright to prevent orthostasis and also rebuilding the strength that they've lost during their period of immobility. During the progressive sitting protocol, it's very important to have a component of the time spent on patient education. Because these patients develop pressure ulcers in the first place, one of the big goals of the rehab program will be to prevent further pressure ulcers. Because patients with spinal cord injury are at high risk for pressure ulcers, it's important for those undergoing flap reconstruction to undergo a progressive sitting protocol. At UPMC, we found that the progressive sitting protocol improves outcomes following large pressure ulcers and flap reconstruction. We owe it to our patients to follow these types of recommendations.